New this morning, the White House is preparing to roll out a new plan in its fight against COVID. It comes as we start to see cases rise ahead of the holiday season. This morning, the Biden administration announced its winter COVID-19 preparedness plan, which includes the return of that free at-home test program. NBC News White House correspondent Carol Lee joins us now. Carol, good morning to you. So let's have you walk us through this new plan. What actions is the administration taking to prepare for a potential winter surge? Yeah, Joe, well, look, the White House is saying that they don't expect this surge to be as bad as last winter, but they are expecting a surge nonetheless. So they're taking several steps with this plan. One is starting today, Americans can get four free at-home COVID-19 tests to per household. So they can order those. They're also sending more than 6,500 tests to low-income housing programs, and they're, they're focusing on nursing homes, long-term care facilities. They're expanding a program to get tests to food banks as well. They're also working on trying to increase vaccination, so they're setting up mobile vaccination sites, test-to-treat sites, and urging governors to really try to get people vaccinated, particularly focusing on the elderly, Joe, saying they're sending, this, sending what they're calling this winter playbook to nursing homes and long-term care facilities to try to get some of the elderly vaccinated because a large number of them have gotten their initial vaccines, but not those booster shots. Lastly, they're, they're also trying to ready personnel and resources. So they're trying, saying that they have a number of medical personnel who are on the ready, who can be deployed where they need to be, and urging states to use their own resources, such as the National Guard, if, it can, if they need to. Let's talk more about those free at-home tests. I know we saw high demand for it in the past. My household certainly took advantage of that. Mm -hmm. So the White House yeah. is bringing it back, allowing people to request four additional tests. So how long is the program going to run for, and how do folks actually get these tests? So the way that they can get the tests is they can order them online at COVID test Dot gov, or there's also a phone line that's 1-800-232-0233, so they can call as well to get those tests. And this is something that's starting today. It's running for, for some time, and that the households, the administration is saying that households should be able, to, regardless of the number, that there will be a supply there for those who want those tests. You know, in the early days of the pandemic, and even a year ago, there were always worries about, do we have enough resources? Do we have enough testing? Do we have mm -hmm. enough treatment? So where does the federal government stockpile on those things, on tests and treatments stand right now as, as we head into the winter months? And where are they getting the funding for additional tests? So as, ter as far as the funding goes, you recall that, that the White House had asked Congress for additional funding for COVID to deal with a surge like this. They're not getting that. So they're saying they're going back to use funding that was in a COVID relief bill that was passed last year. So that's where the funding is coming from. And in terms of the stockpile, look, they're saying that the White House is saying they have enough of a stockpile in terms of Paxlovid, the treatment for COVID. They've, they've just said they distributed 6 million doses to communities. They're saying that they have over 130 million N95 masks in the strategic national stockpile, so those can also be distributed. And again, they're saying we have enough tests, so Americans should order them and they will receive them. All right, Carol Lee. Carol, thanks so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.